Tonight, federal authorities are warning consumers, businesses, and even our state and local governments about unscrupulous dealers trying to profit off the COVID-19 pandemic. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Channing Frampton. But as ABC 27 investigator Katie Legrone shows us, deciphering who's shady and who's legit can be challenging and already has some Florida leaders learning lessons the hard way. As the COVID-19 virus continues to plague the country, the search is on for equipment to stop its spread. From N95 masks to approved COVID-19 testing kits, the market to battle the pandemic is hot. But according to federal authorities, the opportunity to get duped by it is also heating up. The scammers never waste any opportunity to develop new ways of ripping people off. That's their livelihood and their ability to survive and to make money depends upon their ability to come up with new schemes. But we found deciphering the legit from the questionable at a time of fear and chaos can get complicated. Please read the instruction carefully upon receiving the kit. Take, for example, this Chinese biotech company. Last week, we received a tip from a middleman that the company had 15 million COVID-19 testing kits available. A YouTube video touts fast results. The results should be interpreted in 10 minutes. And accompanying paperwork included a clinical study and copies of certificates meant to prove the kits are approved in Europe. But take a closer look. The certificate looks nothing like typical ones. The symbols blurry. And when we contacted the company with questions, we got in return this boilerplate email, not answering our questions, but instead informing us. Our productivity has reached the maximum limit due to large overseas orders. There's something really wrong in the market. There's something that's broken. It's a global problem even Florida's Division of Emergency Management has fallen victim to in its quest to purchase millions of N95 masks only to be met, its director says, by phantom companies on a mission for money. We're going to warehouses that are empty, uh, you know, being told they're on planes that don't exist actually on, on, on any flight pattern. I mean, I can tell you I've signed probably half a billion dollars worth of POs and I feel like all I've purchased uh, is air because these things just don't exist. The FBI warns governments are especially vulnerable to large-scale schemes. In most cases they prefer governments because governments have deeper pockets than individuals or companies do. We've continued to reach out to this company but to date their only response remains this one email indicating they have maxed out orders but have received both Europe's nod of approval and the FDA which according to the FDA is simply not true. The lesson for anyone, do your homework, use the internet to start digging and if a company claims a device is FDA approved, Check with the FDA to make sure that's true. Katie Legrone, ABC 27, investigates.